looking at his videos and stuff, like, like he was so freaking athletic. Like he would have been able to play any area, area, like jump over anybody. Oh, I don't know, but maybe I can if I get lucky. <laughs> you had to do that to me. You had to show me up. What are you up to these days? I'm president of the IVA, which is a professional volleyball league. Well, for me, what comes to mind is just how physically dominating Wilt was. I mean, his size and strength and athletic ability, uh, uh, he had a great variety of, of really incredible uh, strong points to, to his athletic skills. He did things that you wouldn't expect a big person like that to do. Wilt loved to dance. He could dance. He was a magnificent athlete. In today's standards magnificent if people don't realize that you know he can when he went to the university of kansas he competed in the shot put and the high jump and the quarter mile uh, in addition to playing on on the basketball team you know, he, he was really a superlative athlete my gosh he was a great track man he could high jump he could broad jump he'd throw the shot he'd run the quarter mile like a deer and the same way with his stamina great stamina and strength. Shaquille didn't have quite the same athleticism that Wilt had. If he didn't have the endurance that obviously by the 48 minutes a night that we talked about. Wilt was a very special guy. I mean, he was the greatest athlete I think that's ever lived. One of the most the strongest men that's ever played this game. Wilt was probably the most powerful, strongest athlete that I've ever met. Now you've slimmed down. I right, mean, what right. was your playing weight? About no. 275, 280? No, no, no. My, no, my playing weight is around 300, 310. Wilt could do whatever he wanted to on the basketball court. Strong, palmed a bowling ball, a 16-pound bowling ball. Then put his fingers in the sockets and the holes, palmed it like that, and held it out. Wilt started toying with uh, the opposition. And I actually saw this, and I think to this day people don't believe it. But he, he, he wasn't at the top of the circle, but he was about three steps behind it on a free throw, and he ran to the free throw line, took off, and dunked the ball. Will Chamberlain is, was an extraordinary athlete. Okay, I already heard him reference at the Olympics this year being the greatest beach volleyball player of a certain era. What is some of that beat in any sport that uh, Will accomplished that many people might not know about? Polo! Water polo. <laughs> harness racing. I water ski at over 100 miles an hour. When I ride my cars, I'm going as much as 180 miles an hour. And uh, most people dream of doing those things, but never have enough nerve to try them. The Kansas City Chiefs drafted him for tight end. I know you did a, what, a 4.4 and a 40 yard dash. Yeah, you were right. a sprinter. Yeah, Even boxing. We came with a concept of Will Chamberlain fighting Muhammad Ali, and I was going to manage Will. <laughs> you know what happened, though? <laughs> no. <laughs> Herbert saw Will. And got afraid and thought it might be an upset because Will was so big. You know, Ollie was 6'2 and Will was about 7'2. Yeah. And so uh, Herbert backed out. And he was a manager of Muhammad. My thing I liked was to challenge guys who were smaller, guys who were supposed to be quicker. It wasn't just my height that was getting me across in these various sports. It was some other intrinsic things that I had that made me a good athlete. They always said he was by far the strongest person oh, who's ever did, played in the NBA. Absolutely, I mean, yeah. he lifted me up like did one arm like nothing. So powerful. He came to the gym and he would do a tricep extension. The big guys, the strongest guys, would do, let's say, 120 pounds. He would come and he would do 150, 170 pounds. That's how strong he was. Did you retire right after basketball, basically? You no, I went, right, I went right into volleyball. I played professional volleyball actually longer than I played basketball. Will Chamberlain's playing with four of my freshmen against Magic, Bernard King, James Worthy, Byron Scott, and Green. And it's game point, Magic throws a sky hook, Will blocks it, Magic calls game. And Will says, that wasn't goaltending, that was a clean block. And Will <laughs> said, hey coach, was that goaltending? I said, no, that was a clean block. And Will says, all right, look, we're gonna play a game till 12, winner stays, and there'll be no more shots made at this basket. He blocked every everything. shot, 43 <laughs> years old. He was blocking everything. It was, it. it was unbelievable. Probably the greatest play I have ever seen in my life, uh, Will Chamberlain was involved with, with Gus Johnson. Will was standing there, Gus goes up to dunk it. Will catches the ball, throws Gus to the floor, still holding the ball, they carry Gus off the court with a dislocated shoulder from bouncing off the floor. I don't see how anyone in the NBA will ever be as strong as he was. I saw Will Chamberlain once go to half court 
and make 20 out of 25 free throws from half court. You know, Will had a great shot outside. He used to win games at horse. I'm going to tell you something. As bad as it looked, he didn't miss by that much. You just see me make two in a row. You know, I had to say for a fast. There you go. I'm doing some bad hours. I just played the last three of them. I don't care. This is the one I'm talking about for bad hours. Get it up! Get it up! Everybody was captivated by this giant.